Have you ever wondered about the surprising connection between type 2 diabetes and fatty liver? It's a connection that is often overlooked, yet strikingly prevalent. In fact, research suggests that at least half of the people living with type 2 diabetes also have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Today we will explore the hidden truth to make a change now. But what exactly is fatty liver disease? Simply, it's a condition where excess fat builds up in your liver. For most people, this doesn't cause any harm or problems to the liver. And it's usually detected through blood tests done for other reasons. However, in some people, if left unchecked, it can progress to more severe forms of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, leading to advanced liver fibrosis and even cirrhosis, which is severe scarring of the liver and can have serious consequences for liver function and overall health. So it's crucial to address risk factors to prevent progression. Now you might be wondering how is diabetes linked to this? We will discuss it clearly in the full video. Well, type 2 diabetes, a chronic metabolic disorder characterized by elevated blood glucose levels, has been identified as a significant risk factor for the development of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This connection between your blood sugar and liver health is why it's so important for individuals with diabetes to get screened for liver disease. Early detection is crucial as symptoms may not be apparent in the early stages. But the good news is, the lifestyle changes that we are discussing in this video can play a key role in both preventing and managing these conditions. Understanding the link between diabetes and fatty liver is the first step towards prevention and management. In the upcoming sections, we'll explain deeper into the symptoms, the mechanisms linking these two conditions, the risk factors, diagnostic approaches, and most importantly, how you can prevent and manage fatty liver disease. Stay tuned as we explore how diabetes affects your liver. Did you know that fatty liver disease often has no symptoms? It's a silent condition that can progress without any warning signs. But when symptoms do occur, they can be quite vague, often dismissed as general feelings of unwellness. Fatigue can be a common symptom, making you feel constantly tired and drained. Malaise or a general sense of not feeling well can also be a clue. Some people might experience discomfort in the upper right belly area. Yet many individuals with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD may not experience any of these symptoms at all. This makes regular screening and early detection all the more crucial. It's important to keep in mind that while these symptoms can be associated with NAFLD, they could also be indicative of other health conditions. Therefore, if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's essential to consult with your healthcare professional. Despite the lack of symptoms, the silent progression of fatty liver disease can have serious implications. But how exactly does diabetes contribute to the development of fatty liver disease? That's the question we're going to explain now. It appears that diabetes creates several pathways for fatty liver disease. Let's begin with insulin resistance. You see, insulin is a hormone responsible for regulating sugar levels in our body. But in cases of insulin resistance, which is common in type 2 diabetes, the body's cells stop responding to insulin as efficiently as they should. This leads to higher levels of insulin in the blood, which can promote the accumulation of fat in the liver, setting the stage for fatty liver disease. Next, mechanism is increased lipolysis. Lipolysis is the process through which our body breaks down stored fat to produce energy. However, in individuals with diabetes, this process can accelerate. This results in an excess of free fatty acids, which are then transported to the liver. The liver, flooded with fatty acids, begins storing them, leading to fatty liver disease. Lastly, we have alterations in lipid metabolism. Lipids or fats are essential for our body's functioning, but their levels need to be carefully regulated. Diabetes can disrupt this balance leading to abnormal lipid metabolism. This can result in an overproduction of fats in the liver, further contributing to fatty liver disease. So you see, it's like a chain reaction. Diabetes can cause insulin resistance, increase lipolysis, and alter lipid metabolism, all of which can lead to an accumulation of fat in the liver. It is these mechanisms that make individuals with diabetes more susceptible to fatty liver disease. Certain factors can increase your risk of developing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Let's explore these now. First off, having type 2 diabetes puts you at a heightened risk. This is due to the correlation between insulin resistance and liver fat accumulation. Next, being overweight or obese can also put you in the danger zone. Excess weight, especially around the belly, can lead to an increase in liver fat. 
then we have poor glycemic control. If your blood sugar levels are constantly high, it can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease over time. Being over 50 years of age is another risk factor. As we age, our body's metabolic processes slow down, potentially leading to fatty liver disease. Also, high cholesterol and high blood pressure can contribute to the condition. These ailments can cause fat to build up in the liver, leading to inflammation and damage. Rapid weight loss and malnourishment can also lead to fatty liver. When the body doesn't get enough nutrients, it starts to break down fat for energy, which can overload the liver. Lastly, genetics plays a significant part. If your family has a history of liver disease, you could be at a higher risk. Awareness of these risk factors can help in early identification and prevention of fatty liver disease. Early detection of fatty liver disease can help prevent severe liver damage. So how do we diagnose this condition? There are a few key approaches. First up, we have imaging studies. These include an ultrasound scan of the abdomen, which can reveal fatty deposits in the liver. If the ultrasound results suggest a more advanced disease, a fibro scan may be necessary. This test measures the stiffness of your liver, which can indicate fibrosis or scarring. Next, liver function tests. These blood tests measure the levels of certain enzymes like alanine aminotransferase, ALT, and aspartate aminotransferase, AST, and proteins in your blood to determine how well your liver is working. Elevated levels may suggest a liver condition. In some cases, as a last option, a liver biopsy may be necessary for investigation. This procedure involves taking a small sample of liver tissue to examine it under a microscope. It's important to remember that early signs of fatty liver disease may not always be apparent. Regular screenings and checkups are crucial, especially if you're at a higher risk, such as having type 2 diabetes or being overweight. Prompt diagnosis is key to managing and preventing the progression of fatty liver disease. Preventing and managing fatty liver disease involves important lifestyle changes. It's about taking charge of your health and making positive adjustments. First off, good glycemic control is crucial. Working with your healthcare team to manage your blood sugar levels can significantly reduce the risk of developing fatty liver disease. This can involve dietary changes, medication, and regular monitoring of your blood sugar levels. Now let's talk about weight. Maintaining a healthy weight is not just about looking good, it's about feeling good and keeping your liver healthy too. If you're carrying extra pounds, losing weight can greatly improve liver health. It's not about drastic diets or extreme fitness regimes, but about making sustainable changes. For more information on proper weight loss, watch our video on 10 best tips for weight loss. Eating balanced, nutritious meals and incorporating regular physical activity into your daily routine can go a long way. At least 150 minutes week of moderate physical activity is recommended for all patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Next, managing high blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Both are risk factors for fatty liver disease. Regular checkups, a healthy diet, and regular exercise can help keep these in check. And if necessary, medication can be used under the supervision of your healthcare provider. When it comes to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, weight loss can be particularly beneficial. Treatment usually begins with reducing those extra pounds. Calorie restriction is recommended aiming to lose 0.51 kg per week until the target weight is achieved. Even a modest weight loss, such as 3-5% of your starting weight, can have benefits. A more significant weight loss of around 10% is typically recommended. In essence, prevention and management of fatty liver disease are about taking care of your overall health. It's about creating a lifestyle that supports not just your liver, but your whole body. And remember, every step, no matter how small, counts. Even small changes can make a big difference in managing and preventing fatty liver disease. In summary, the link between type 2 diabetes and fatty liver disease is significant. This video has shed light on the crucial relationship between these two conditions and the potential risks they pose to your health. We've discussed that fatty liver disease often shows no symptoms, making regular screenings essential for early detection. We've also learned about the various risk factors, including type 2 diabetes, obesity, poor glycemic control, and high cholesterol, among others. It's clear that managing these factors can go a long way in preventing the onset of fatty liver disease. Remember, lifestyle modifications are your first line of defense. Maintain a healthy weight, manage your blood sugar levels, and keep your cholesterol within recommended limits. Regular checkups and monitoring are also key to staying on top of your health. 
Understanding the connection between diabetes and liver health is a crucial step towards better health management. Stay informed, stay healthy. Please subscribe to Diabetes Academy for more insightful videos about diabetes and related health topics.